What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing. I just finished up watching Keyshawn Davis versus Juan Carlos Burgos. And this was a 10 rounder in the lightweight division. And this fight was Saturday, December 10th, from Madison Square Garden in New York City, New York. And this fight was broadcasted on ESPN. And in this fight, um, Keyshawn Davis was able to get a dominant unanimous decision victory over Juan Carlos Burgos. So I personally scored this bout 80 to 72 and agreed with all three judges who also scored it 80 to 72 in Keyshawn Davis's favor that is giving Davis every single round. So I mean, I don't even need to go through this round go through this fight and break it down round by round because almost every single round was the same. I mean, Keyshawn Davis won every single one easily. It was an impressive performance and a step up on paper obviously because Burgos, I believe he's also a former world champion, but he's fought for multiple world titles as well. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, if I'm wrong about him being a former world champion, just comment down below in the comments, because I know that he's fought many guys, um, in the top tier level, um, throughout the years. I mean, I know he's sort of past his prime now and is sort of just a gatekeeper, I guess you could say, but still, I mean, this is a solid win for Davis. Um, he did step up, obviously, in competition here, so I think that, uh, yeah, he looked very solid in this fight, looked pretty good, and I would say that every single round, like I just mentioned earlier, was very similar. I mean, he was just outworking, outlanding, and just beating up Juan Carlos Burgos. He, Juan Carlos Burgos, he almost had him uh, had him hurt um, many times throughout this fight, he was backing him up against the ropes, throwing big combinations. Uh, he outlanded Burgos by like more than like 150 punches or something like that. I mean, really, he dominated... Um, in this fight, it looked very, very good. And comment down below how you, uh, or how you scored this fight, obviously, which I would imagine is 8-0 for Davis. But um, just comment down below what you think of Keyshawn Davis after this pretty solid win. Um, like I said before, it was a step up. So this goes in the question, what is next for Keyshawn Davis? Getting this dominant win, um, hurting and beating up on um, a veteran like Juan Carlos Burgos. So, I mean, for him, uh, I think that Davis should definitely step it up even more. I know he's only 7-0. He's accomplished a lot. Olympic silver medalist um, in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Um, so, I mean, really, he's already done a lot. He had a good amateur background, won an Olympic medal, um, and now is fighting on pretty big cards on top rank. So, I mean, really, I think we should definitely see him step it up even more. And the thing is, I know Boxrec has, like, Burgos ranked somewhere around, like, top, like, 80, maybe 90, 100, somewhere around there. I think Burgos is definitely higher ranked than that um, because he gave Angel Fierro a very, very tough test who's ranked like top 30, top 40 by Boxrec. So I think that definitely he should be higher than that. I think that um, Davis should be getting much more credit for this win, especially on Boxrec. But I know a lot of people who obviously know boxing will give him some more credit for this win. And I think that if he's able to get past Juan Carlos Burgos this easily, I definitely think they should step it up and maybe even put Davis against someone who is universally ranked around the top 30, around the top 40, because being that he's getting all this coverage, I mean, I think it's not really the smartest thing to keep push it, pushing him against these lower-ranked lower, lower ranked guys just to be on um, top rank just every single time fighting these lower-ranked guys and just fighting these lower-ranked guys, not really just stepping it up, but I mean, the fact that he stepped it up here, I would like to see him step it up again in competition, finding guys higher ranked and continuing to get better and continuing to show his high-level skill set. Um, but as for Juan Carlos Burgos, losing here for, I believe, the seventh time in his career, unless it is the eighth, um, for him, I think he's either just going to get a little easy win before maybe getting called up again to face like a prospect, an established contender, um... And possibly just be the B side in another fight because the thing is nowadays and the biggest fights he's getting called up for it's him just being the B side and him taking a tough loss or giving a prospect or contender a good test. Uh, so overall, Keyshawn Davis dominates Juan Carlos Burgos, defeating him by a wide and clear unanimous decision. And yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.